Hey, what's up, guys? We're back again to engage our opponents with the best Electro Giant deck in Clash Royale. Electro Giant's biggest problem is getting distracted by buildings, but there's an easy solution with Evolved Archers. Since the Archer's evolution does double the damage at maximum distance, they're built to shred buildings. So if you snipe buildings with the Evolved Archers to get your Electro Giant through, you'll be shocking towers in no time. And in Double and Triple Elixir, you can melt buildings away with a Lightning. And no matter what you face, this deck will keep you safe the entire match. With the Tombstone to distract your opponent's spam, Evolved Archers for high damage, and the Bowler Little Prince Ability and Tornado to bounce and knock back all of your opponent's spam. So you can play passive the entire time, waiting for the opportunities for the Evolved Archers, Lightning, or multiple Electro Giants to snag towers. The ranked 3 player in the world is dominating with this electric deck. It's time to eliminate every opponent with electricity and assert dominance. Lots of love to everyone that's supporting the channel with Critter Code SirTag. Hey, my Toxic, I think you're ready for my Toxic deck. So I'm gonna go in for our little prince in the back and no, nope, never mind. We're gonna go and kill the ice spirit. We don't want to have any damage up in here. So we're gonna try to be totally toxic with our little prince. The way that I want to play this is I want to tornado this back, then go for a little prince ability and have that lock on the tower. I think that the guardian actually locks onto the tower and we manifested magical damage. I know I spent a lot of elixir for that, but I think it's probably worth it. Yo, what if I go in for an electro giant? We finish off the musketeer and then we break through the mortar with a bar barrel. <laughs> I am playing the epitome of toxicity. This isn't going to be able to break through the night because obviously he's going to have ice spirit and he's going to stop everything he possibly can to defend that. But it was fun to make a pretty aggressive play at the start. And if he's going to go directly into archers, not only is he going to give us a positive extra trade with that miner and knight, but at the same time, he is fueling my archer's evolution. So I can maybe make something happen here if I was trying to like kill a knight with evolved archers and like make a pre-lightning prediction. But I'm not going to do something that foolish. If you're playing against Mortar, you want to be able to blast the Mortar down with the Little Prince, the Lightning, or the Archer's Evolution. Typically, what I'll do is I'll use the Evolved Archers to make that happen. And I'll make sure that they're at max range so they can do maximum damage. In Single Elixir, I'm not really going to be able to cycle the Archer's Evolution that quickly. But I'll try to make something happen with the Bowler and Nato if he drops the Knight in the wrong spot. He's dropping in the back, so he's not giving me that opportunity. I'm playing really intelligently here. I'm not going to be dumb enough to kill the little prince ability just because like i'm gonna get the benefit of killing the knight anyway and dropping our ability means that we waste elixir and we don't cycle to our archers as fast as we want so we delay our push let's go for a bar barrel here just to cycle a little bit and then we'll go for our archers try to snipe some mortars and then we'll go for a lightning wait we're gonna kill the goblins way faster knocking away the miner too we're shoveling that thing in the ground the archers are gonna die to the goblin but it's fine wait can we get any ounce of damage? Nah, he dropped the mortar in the right spot. We don't get anything here. What if we do something pretty scuffed? Like, what if I go for Bowler as a win condition? And I go Little Prince after. <laughs> this could be really fun. I want to try it. Nah, it's not going to work. But well, we can go for an Electro Giant and make that happen that way. And then go for Barbaro afterward. This could make some magic happen. Especially since we have the Archer's Evolution. Watch how much damage they do from a distance here. They're going to shred the Knight. The Electro Giant does give us one little zap. We force out a poison. Now we're gonna go for the little prince ability and then tornado back his miner so the guardian locks tower. Watch how much damage I get. Each shot is like 200 damage and this guy has to go for a log. That is so worth. All right, I'm gonna go for a bowler down here and then I bet you he goes in for a mortar in the middle, which we will be able to lightning on top of and hit the knight as well. Let's go, that's beautiful. Recognizing an opportunity to snag more lightning value is something that we do all day, every day. So, breaking through the mortar is cool and all, but the bowler is where we truly find our damage. So, I'm going to go for our little prince here, and I'm going to get ready with the nato and see if we can hit anything. So, we're going to try to pull the knight in alignment with the bowler, and if we can line up a strike, we're striking down the tower. So, my toxic truly wasn't ready for that level of toxicity. Maybe he shouldn't have antagonized our low-skill electro giant deck with his name. He couldn't handle this level of electricity and got shocked out of the game. And we're at 1,700 in the world. Yo, this guy finished 783 in the world. So he's got his girlfriend in his clan and we're ready to have this game on lock. So I'm going to go and drop a good luck and maybe go in for a tombstone or a little prince depending on what we're feeling. It could also be good fun or it could be something in French that I don't understand. Y'all let me know down below in the comment section. What does that actually mean? Because right now I'm mesmerized by it. I'm going to go tombstone same side as the dark prince. We've already allocated six elixir. He's dropped four. So he's going to be up a little bit more than me. I could go and drop the Little Prince ability before it crosses the river so we are able to go and tank. Nice, we push back the knight, keep our Little Prince alive, and then go for a lightning. Come on, 
Give me some damage with the Guardian. Something with the Little Prince. Anything. Oh, come on, dude. We did blast back his unit. We did finagle our way through. We got some lightning damage, which is 420 on the tower. So I would say overall, we're in a decent spot compared to him. Oh, wow. I didn't expect him to have Sparky. That's not a card I wanted to see. Because Electro Giant, it doesn't reset that. I think we're going to cycle archers in the right-hand side and hope that they do something. Most of the time, this doesn't really do anything, but one can wish. One can wish. Is he going to go Goblin Giant? Of course he does. So we can go for our Tombstone here. Go and pull the Goblin Giant. Maybe get some Archer's Mayhem up in here. Could also go for a Barbarian Barrel on top of all of his stuff. Blast the Sparky that way. Then go our Little Prince off to the side. We've delicately separated all of his stuff and made sure that the Little Prince is going to stay alive. Poor Bowler, though, you know? Boy took the brunt of that. I gotta say, that defense was masterfully orchestrated, though. Okay, I don't think this is gonna work, but maybe we can blast back the bar barrel. No. That was a, a cheesy ability timing that was kind of not good. We're gonna split up our archers so then the Dark Prince doesn't maul them both at once. And then this little prince is gonna be a massive issue for me. I don't think I can even counter it. I don't know. We go Bowler, should we? Maybe? Nice! Come on, Bowler! One more shot! One more shot! Please! One more, one more, one more. I'm just going to keep saying one more. It's like that thing when you lose a game in Clash Royale and you're always saying one more game, one more game. <laughs> kind of what happened for us there. <laughs> I'm going to throw down my E-Giant on the right-hand side because the Sparky is one of the best counters in the game to Electro Giant. So when you don't have that in cycle, are you going to try to counter that? Nah, you're going to full send. My bro just went full send express on me. Wait, is he is, is he actually not going to care? That'd be hilarious. If we Barbro and we Lightning, we might be able to kill the Sparky. I don't know. This might work. Yo, the Evolved Archers on defense, though. They build different. That's clean. All right, wait, wait, wait. We ought to go for our bowler here. And then we can kill all of his stuff, hopefully. I genuinely don't know. I, I just want to kill the Little Prince. I have simple needs. Kill the Little Prince. Nice. All right, if we go Electro Giant, we Lightning on the Sparky, we win, right? Right? Oh, he knows. <laughs> he knew. He's like, I'm not dealing with that today, Jake. Wait, what if I just lightning twice? Because that does 420. I can lightning one more time. His tower's at 416. No. I can do math. I'm not that stupid, guys. I swear. All right, we're going to go and click the ability. Please just kill the Dark Prince and knock back the Goblin Giant. And then we can win. It's a simple uh, math equation where we do more than 420. All right. So we are going to win, hopefully. Just let me cycle. Just let me cycle. All right, we're going to NATO back. And then go lightning here and we walk with win. It's cool because I didn't NATO on the tower because dragging the HP lower means that maybe units that he drops near the tower would have a higher health. And if the units have higher health than his tower, our lightning would target that instead. So we cycled our tornado on the left to go and pull everything back and we were left with an easy way to win with the lightning on the right. And after blasting Sparky to oblivion, we're at rank 1616 in the world, which looks pretty cool. Hey, this guy's got Pekka in the banner and in the mastery. And I think we've mastered a way of beating Pekka. You just use the evolved archers and you damage it down. So it'd be cool because Electro Giant typically struggles into Pekka, but I think with this deck, we're going to flip the script. The guy's going to go for archers in the back. He's copying my strategies. I, I approve. I think that's a great play. I'm going to go in for our evolution of the archers as fast as we can and cycle them at the start. It gets us there. Okay. I don't like the fact that you're cycling your little prince though. That is overstepping the boundaries of brokenness. Wait, if we tornado, we can pull the little prince directly in and then we can kill it with the Electro Giant. Uh, this is hilarious. He might just lose everything. He lost the Ram Rider. We're going to be able to kill the Ghost. And we got a little bit of cheeky chip damage with the NATO on top of the tower. Not bad. We'll take it. So we've identified that he probably has a P.E.K.K.A. deck. He's got Royal Ghost and a Ram Rider. Could have Mega Knight, and that would be really good for us. I like playing against Mega Knight way more, because it doesn't have the damage potential to incinerate your Electro Giant. So I'm going to go in for our aggressive bowler, and we're going to start balling on the tower as soon as we can. Maybe we can E-Giant to test the waters here. I want to go Tombstone so the Bandit doesn't dash on our tower. Just go on some Skeletons. 3 for 3 trade. And then we procure a decent defense against the Archer too. All right. So I'm considering that we go in for... Oh, yes! That's what we wanted, baby! We're jumping straight towards success. And the Boar's going to hit your tower too for some nice damage. One more shot. One more shot. How did it hit it the first time and not hit it the second time? Y'all got to let me know down in the comment section. Polar physics don't make sense, for real. I'm going to go for a bar barrel here. He's going to knock that back. Watch how derpy it looks when he knocks it back. Is he really not going to? Interesting. That, that's a weird play. So, what do we do? Are we lightning? Maybe on a bandit? I don't think he's going to do that. 
So generally in this type of situation, you want to go in for the evolved archers to get maximum damage. And then when you've got the bowler, you've got the little prince, and you also end up having the tornado to pull things back. It's super fun because you can make sure that you really take advantage of the evolved archers range every time. So watch is how we do this. Also, we could go for Tombstone for a juicy pause elixir trade, then go for our evolved archers on his. We could just bar barrel here. I think that's fine as well. Nice. Wonder if the Mega Knight just dies. I think it's just deleted. Look at the damage that we're getting, guys. Isn't that insane? Mega Knight shouldn't die that quickly. And then we can go for a Boar, and then we go Little Prince, and then we've got Nato. Look at the knockbacks we got. Look at the knockbacks we got. It's insane. He just got deleted. He's getting deleted so fast. <laughs> and then we've got another tank in front. And this dude is getting tanked right now. He's getting throttled, destroyed. And it's just begun. The fun has just begun, bro. You're going directly into the Electro Giant, so then your Ram Rider gets stunned. And then we can go for a Bar Barrel afterward. It's a beautiful sight to see, unless you're our opponent. Oh, okay. So we can Lightning on Little Prince here, too, if you want. I don't know if it's worth, but I'm going to do it anyway, just to flex on him a little bit. Add a little bit of insult to injury out here. All right, so we can go for a Tombstone. We could go for another Electro Giant. There's so many different things. Oh, watch this. Against the Mega Knight, click the ability and watch as the Mega Knight gets knocked back even though it's jumping. <laughs> Isn't that derpy? I think that's decisively derpy. And then the Ram Rider gets slowed down. Oh my gosh, it's a beautiful sight. I don't think he's going to be able to get that much damage here. Even if he locks onto the tower, it's not that scary. There's only going to be a couple shots. And then we can go for another Electro Giant on the right-hand side. He's just dealing with the left-hand one, but he doesn't even know. He doesn't know what's going to come to and fro. Bro, 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 watch. <laughs> this Electro Giant is Attack on Titan. It's going to be the anime that you never wanted to watch. Some people think Attack on Titan's scary, but they've never met this Electro Giant. Wait, if we Lightning right now, the Electro Giant doesn't even get a chance to finish off the game, right? Oh, no, it did. It got the final zap. I love that the guy said good luck at the end. I think he actually meant good luck for the next game. He seemed like a pretty nice dude. But honestly, when you're running Electro Giant, you don't deserve the luck. This deck is really fun to play, but it is definitively toxic. Jose finished 350 in the world, and we're ready to fry him with our Electro Giant. So he's going to go in for a Goblin Barrel off to the side. And I think we're able to full counter with the Bowler. That Bowler only costs us two Elixir because the Goblin Barrel gave us three. And now our opponent's like, wait, how am I going to defend against a Bowler and a Little Prince and maybe even Electro Giant? I love playing aggressive with this type of deck when you're up Elixir because it's so annoying for the opponent. He can't go in for a Goblin Gang or anything on top of that as a prediction. He can drop it later, but I wonder if the Guardian's going to allow our Little Prince to stay alive. See, plays like that. Being able to use spontaneous spells on offense to limit your opponent's defensive maneuverability, forcing them to take damage, even if they're a top 300 player, just feels so utterly unfair. Especially when you can go for a bar barrel, generate another positive elixir trade against the goblin barrel, and then your opponent feels locked into a position where they're forced to constantly take negative trades to outcycle your spells and then maybe magically get a goblin barrel on the tower. That's what I think he's going to do for the rest of the game. Maybe he goes Princess of the River. Ah, I knew he had that. I identified his card cycle. I felt like we were secure with sniping that princess. And it didn't happen. But we could snipe it in another way. What if I go Bowler and the Bully Ball hits the princess and knocks back everything? Okay, that's kind of cool. And we can Electro Giant on top of all of his other stuff. So the interesting dilemma for us right now is do we activate King Tower against the Goblin Barrel if he drops it? I think we have to use Tornado here. He's going to go drop his Goblin Barrel. Or we could go Archers. There's two different things I can do. Which one do we want to do today? I'm going to go Archers more often, I think, because we want to get to the Evolution. So if you have to think it through, just cycle the Evolution card. All right. Uh, I could go in for the Little Prince at the river to snipe the Princess. Oh, man. Princes and Princesses and Kings and Queens and everything out here. <laughs> We're fighting a, a war. So I'm going to go and drop this, and then I can activate King Tower, as I said before. I do enjoy doing that earlier on in the game, so then you have the King Tower activated for the rest of the game, and you continuously get value. All right. So we're going to go for Tombstone, make sure no princesses at the river are allowed up in here. I got so much damage in the right, and I wasn't even expecting it. You know what? Let's Electro Giant. It seems like a good strategy. We finish everything off, and then we've got the Tombstone Skeleton supporting us afterward. All right. I could go for Evolved Archers. I'm not going to do that. I'd rather Lightning on this. Kill the Little Prince. Burn it. And then, where are you going to go? Okay, Princess on the right. So, he's playing really passively, and then he's starting to rocket cycle me. So, I, I like the fact that I said really passively, and then he just chucks six elixir randomly at me. <laughs> that's pretty funny. All right, I think that's slightly off to the side, so we're going to bar barrel, generate another positive elixir trade. Going for our little prince to cycle multiple electro giants. I wonder if he's able to defend this effectively if we split up our stuff. 
So notice how we have the Little Prince at Bowler on the right-hand side, and he's probably expecting to get another good rocket. And then he doesn't. And then we go for our archers. And now he can't go for a building. He's going to go for his Little Prince, but he's going to get lightning. He thought I would try to pull that with uh, a tornado, but obviously I wasn't even trying to do that. We've got evolved archers and electro giant, and we have no consideration or care for the right because the princess wasn't going to take my tower. And he had no elixir left over to stop our Electro Snorlax from snacking on the tower. And despite that bait player being one of the best players in the world with a 350 finish and 3,100 medals last season, he got broken down so easily. Electro Giant's overpowered electricity simply can't be stopped. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more daily videos and have an incredible rest of your day.